Hey everybody, what's going on? Ed here, coming at you with another Gundam review, and today we're going to be looking at a very, very cool Zaku. This is the high grade 1144 scale Zaku uh, F2, I believe, um, if I am remembering that correctly. Let me get the instructions out. Yes, the Zaku F2. MSS. And uh, basically, the backstory on this guy, I was a little confused on it because it looks basically just like a Zaku 2. Um, and basically what I read up on it is uh, Zeon made these guys um, a little after the One Year War because when they started making the Doms and the Goofs and then you know later on Zeon mobile suits, these guys, the regular Zaku 2s, were kind of starting to be outdated. So this is basically just a Zaku 2 with better thrusters, um, some added detail, and just overall has a better output as a machine than um, the first Zaku. And for a quick comparison, I don't have the original Zaku 2 in the regular Zaku 2 colors. Here is my uh, skeleton Zaku thing. And uh, as you can see, proportion wise, if you can see that and the details that are showing, this is very outdated compared to this guy. And if you own the original high grade Zaku 2, its proportions are definitely more wonky and uh, definitely more original Gundam animation style than this one. So this one, if you're going to get a Zaku kit and you want it for detail instead of nostalgia for the original series being all wonky, get this. It's a very nice Zaku too with very, very small minimal changes. And I know a lot of uh, the future designs have been based on this guy as well. So anyway, for articulation, you're going to get a head that's on a little double ball joint thing. Also, a very cool gimmick is if you pop the head off, and I'll do it, if you pop the head off, there's this little black switch thing in there, and that'll move the mono eye around when it's got a mono eye in it, because obviously I, this is all stickered, unpainted on everything, uh, because I'll be definitely painting this later on. So, the arm is on this little, like, I think it's a ball joint in there, and then it's got like a hinge in there. Uh, the shoulder shield is on a ball joint as well. Rotation. Oh, I can't even do it, but it will rotate 360 at the top part. Uh, elbow bend and ball jointed hands. Get a little bit of waist ball joint movement in there. Front skirt panel moves up. Side skirt panels will move out very little. Uh, the back skirt's pretty much in there. Solid. Little ball jointed thrusters. Um, the legs are pegged in, um, rotate here, full 360, double jointed knees, which are very nice, gotta watch out for these tubes, these tubes like to pop out, um, and then there's like a double hinge thing that goes into the foot, um, very neat, um, and then a ball joint, and blah 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 blah, um, but basically he's got some, got some damn good articulation, which I think is good for a Zaku, because Zaku's need good articulation. Now, let's get on to the numerous accessories this thing comes with. As you can see, its head right now is in the normal mass-produced type. Then it has this, which I'm not exactly sure what it is. It looks like a normal head, but it just has these three elevated little hatch panels on it or something, so it's like a more detailed extra head cap thing. And then there is the commander antenna head, which comes with basically all the standard Zaku's. Fun fact, I used to think Shar Zaku was the only Commander Zaku there was. I mean, like, besides Johnny Ridden and all them. But, like, I thought green Zakus weren't allowed to have, like, the horn. I don't know why. I was dumb. <laughs> um, and let's see. Oh, man, where is the Heat Hawk? Crap, I didn't set that aside before the review. Um, he does come with a very nice little Heat Hawk thing. And if I knew where I put it, that would be really cool. Oh well, shit. Well, he comes with a heat hawk. Um, <laughs> I can't find it at the moment, but he does come with one. Um, next, he comes with these little. Oh, he comes with all this really cool stuff that goes on. Let's see. Ah, uh, hands first. This is like a holding hand for the gun. Very cool. Uh, definitely not one you're just gonna have willy nilly flying out like an action hand. It's it's more for like holding a gun underneath. Very cool. 
comes with a trigger fingered hand and that leads me into the first weapon which is just the normal uh, Zaku rifle that's been modified quite a bit um, this little handle will flip out this little scope moves and the ammo clip can come off and um, very cool thing about this kit is it actually comes with two ammo clips and you can take the extra ammo clip and you can either peg it in right on the side there or on the back skirt so he can store his extra ammunition uh, comes with this little tiny I believe these are grenades um, and those also preferably are stored right here or on the back again you can store them in multiple spots which is very very neat um, his other gun that he comes with is this no articulation on it or anything it just seems like it's a machine pistol or something uh, standard I guess for this type of Zaku and then it comes with the oh so famous little leg uh, missile launchers so to attach one of those on we're just gonna wrap it around there and have the Zaku fall over. That's a very important part about this. Um, and you're gonna take the first little box here. These things really, really kind of bug the shit out of me because they're so loose. Ah, uh, get in there. All right, there we go. Get the missiles. Ugh, you're falling apart, man. <laughs> that too likes to fall out a lot. Um, so yeah, you can. You have that, and you also get one for the other leg, and I'm not going to bother assembling it, because I'm lazy. Um, so yeah, that, I think that's it. Um, I really wish I could find where I put the Heat Hawk, um, I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, it comes with a Heat Hawk that has a little clip that you can attach to the side, and I was going to complain about it because it's like, it's really loose, it doesn't like to attach, and I believe it also comes with these little stickers, which I don't really give two shits about um so yeah um i'm gonna give this kit a total of eight out of ten points just because there are a couple things i dislike with it right out of the box it's not for everyone but i'm sure with a little bit of paint and a little bit of fixins he will be just fine oh look at that if the light reflects off it like that it looks like it has a mono eye <laughs> All right, everybody, uh, this has been Ed with another Gundam review, and I will see you all next time. So if you like Zaku's, get this kit. It's, it's the best high-grade Zaku that I've ever built, personally. Then again, I really haven't built too many Zaku's. Um, yeah, but it's a good kit, so go get it.